Hey guys, my name is Cineac and welcome back to another episode of Sim Casino. And well, basically guys, I feel like every time I do an episode, I go to load the game upon Steam and I've got to update it. The developers are banging updates out like you won't believe. And today there's been another one. So before we get into it, there's a few things we need to kind of sort out in our casino right now. Uh, somebody let me know that there's people still stuck in here. Whoopsie! I didn't realise. <laughs> How long have you been trapped in here? 150 hours? 149 hours? 148? That's that's a couple of days. <laughs> I do apologise, guys. That's almost a week. Holy moly. Wait, that could be a week. No, it's almost a week. It's about, what? Six and a half days-ish, give or take. Um, there's lots of stuff we need to do. Uh, apparently, you can also carpet a whole entire room by holding down shift, I believe it was. Wow. Amazing. Feeling so foolish right now. And apparently, one of my hotel rooms, I'm missing a window. I'll get all that stuff in, guys. Do not worry. So, before we jump straight into it, guys, I just want to say, if you are enjoying Sim Casino and want to see more, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you're on your end here, make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out. Now, before we jump straight into the brand new update, it's this room here that doesn't have a window. So, let me just add in some of the stuff that I'm kind of low-key missing right now. So, window, in you go. There we go. That's sorted. And apparently, if... Let me get rid of the um, the zones right now. Apparently, if you kind of... It, it's probably easier for me to go down the floor right now. Um, let me find a carpet. You can, you can carpet a whole room? Is this a thing? Um, if it is, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh my goodness me. It is a thing. You can carpet a whole entire room rather than me doing it all individually. Guys, what is this nonsense right now? Who even is this guy? This is all stuff I didn't even realize I could do. I'm so dumb. So how, how is, how, somebody said, said yeah, it's right in front of you. That's how you do it. Um, I didn't know. Oh, it says it right there in the box. Control to select the same type of styled floor. Shift to select the whole room. Right, guys, we're going to pretend like I didn't accidentally do this. And I don't want to spend the next five minutes placing down carpet, but this is amazing. I got to do all the bathrooms and stuff anyway, but leave that as it is. Now I know I can do that. It's a game changer. It's a freaking game changer. So... Bam, ba bam, bam, bam. Today, we can take a look at the brand new update. See if there's anything new that we can add in from this new update. I haven't really read the full details, but it's a long list. So hopefully there's some cool stuff we can utilize today. One, I want to get rid of the um, the <laughs> the original hotel and the original storeroom. I want to also continue working on my high-level gambling uh, sections. I want to... Apparently, I can't do this, get rid of the floor because of the walls underneath. It is what it is. So I'm going to redo it all, and we're pretty much going to create something very similar to this in the middle. But we're going to create its very own room. Obviously, high limit gambling and all of that for the tables. More slot machines over this side, which would be really, really fun and handy to get in. And a couple of bars and whatnot, and just kind of get things all freaking jazzy. And also take a look at completing the other side of this for our standard rooms before we eventually progress onto our suites, where we get all the monies. Even though we're getting all the monies right now, but I want even more monies. So what is new in this brand new update then? So... Apart from being a bunch of um, bug fixes, there's a couple of UI changes as well. And I think it all kind of relies on the fact that you can now change the like limits on the tables, right? I can go to this and I can change all this. Oh, there's a minimum bet. Right, I'm jumping ahead of myself. So improvements, the slot machines and table games now show minimum players gambling confidence. Uh, required. Okay, so what is minimum required gambling confidence thing, Jig, Booty, Bob? I don't know. I feel like player gambling confidence, so basically the confidence level a player needs to have before trying this game. Ooh, okay. So if I pause, select you, or highlight you, this person has a player gambling confidence of 218%. I feel like that's really high. They must have walked out with a really big win. This person here has a 21%. Now, I feel like this player confidence thing, how much are these people walking in? Um, do we not know? 
They're walking in with 33%. Okay, so they're, they're all coming with different percentages. I feel like this is going to be something that's going to make me lose money. Well, not lose money, but not make as much money. Because if now they need to have a confidence level to be, or have the ability to attempt playing a game, then that means before they would just play. Now there's a, there's a, a, a fact there that stops them at a certain level not being able to play that game. That's going to make me not make as much money. Does that make sense? This has a table or a, a player gambling confidence of 0%. So you don't need any confidence to jump on the blackjack. Is that a realization of how easy it is to win that blackjack maybe? I don't know. I don't know. So gambling confidence no longer increases after every game. It now increases when you push at a slot machine or a table. And more often, uh, and more so if they win. And it also increases at sports bets too. So which is pretty much up here. So the more confidence that they have, does that mean the more likely they're going to win? Is that how it works? Ooh, okay. So they've added a minimum and maximum bets uh, to the betting window. There's no limit, but keep an eye out for player confidence. So a betting window is up here. There's now no minimum or max, uh, even though we have our sets of $5.40. Uh, and that's the player, the, the gambling confidence right there. This is so cool that you can kind of change all this stuff right now. But again, like I said, if, if a player or a customer comes in with a really, really high player um, gambling confidence and they make a really high bet, that confidence shows that they know what they're doing. They're placing their money on the right horse. And they might have, they're going to have a really high chance of winning. Thus, making us lose money. So we gotta be a little bit careful on that, don't we? We kinda do. We kinda do. Ooh, lifetime profit, minus 3,500. Are you for real? We've been losing money out of this? Lifetime profit, wow, okay. But it's, it's some stuff we're gonna lose money. It's all about the attraction to bring people into the casino. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, a new update is the bar staff now walk up and down the bars and approach each guest to serve them individually. Wait, are you telling me that was not a thing before in the past? Wait, how did it work before then? So you're telling me right now, a guest sits down, the bar staff walks to them and serves them. That person's just sat down over here. That the, the staff is now walking over to them. What were they doing before? I didn't even realize that was not a thing before. Wow, that shows you how much I pay attention to the game, right? It does. You can now take a member of staff to fire them. You can now uh, replace some method calls to improve performance, get optimized saving, update translation files, all that kind of jazzy stuff. I get it, I get it, I get it. But you can now fire people or staff members from selecting them. Um, as a customer. Uh, as a staff member. Bam. Oh, okay. So I can now select them individually rather than just saying, get rid of one staff. I like it, I like it. So I think the whole update has been kind of revised around this player confidence, which I don't know whether that's a good thing, because one, like I said, if they if they require a certain confidence to play a game and they don't have that confidence, they're not going to play that game. Whereas before they would have played it, and if now if they have a high confidence, there's more chance of them winning. That's just going to cost me more and more money, isn't it? I don't know if I like this update. I don't know. But anyway, let's slowly start getting rid of all this stuff. Now, I don't fully know how I meant to demolish stuff. How do I demolish a structure? Demolish walls. Can't demolish them because they've got windows in. Um, clone tool, wall tool, D zone, select multiple objects. Is this how I do it? Is this how I, do I have to? Uh, am I? Is this serious? I have to kind of demolish things like selecting individually. Oh, wait, is it because I can't demolish it because it's the bottom floor? Right, this is the top floor right now. Let me try here. So, dismantle walls. Okay, can't dismantle them. Demantle structures. So, I, I can't dismantle it if there is an object there. Remove objects and flooring. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, okay, I think this is the one. Bam. But for some reason, the, the, <laughs> the objects are still floating. Can I? Okay, can't do it there. Um, what? 
Oh, I removed floor. That's what I've done. Not walls. Foundation. Dismantle walls. No. Dismantle structures. No. This is so weird. Why can't it just be like a delete all button? And uh, have I seriously got to do this manually? If that's the case, that's going to be a huge pain. I don't agree with this. But am I once all selected, then dismantle? Yes, I like to dismantle those objects. And then have I seriously got to do all the windows by themselves? No, this can't be a thing, right? This can't be a thing. This morning structures area must be clear of objects first. So, so the objects one. Uh, remove outdoor paved areas, create holes between levels, convert one level to a two level floor rooms. Um, so this is to do with objects. But obviously, it won't let me delete objects. And I'm pressing tab here to remove other stuff. That would demoli that changes it between demolishing floors. Don't you find this a bit annoying? I find this slightly annoying that you can't do it. Like I can't just drag and delete everything. I've got to remove all this individually. So if that is the case, you best be certain when you're placing down this stuff. Demolish yet. Yeah. So if I bring the uh, thing up here, I've now have I now got to select all these windows individually? Can I not select the bottom floor windows? That's annoying. If that is the case, guys, developers, if you're watching right now, which I, I highly like and highly doubt you are, um, sort this out. This is a pain. And I bet you're right. Do you know what would be hilarious right now if someone leaves a comment going, uh, Seniac, you, you just got to do this. And I'm like, you what, mate? I would have spent how many mementos trying to sort this out? It's like there's moments where I love this game and there's moments where this game infuriates me. So if I now dismantle, gone, right? That means I can then get rid of the foundations, dismantle structures. Um, yes, that floor is gone. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's people still up there. I don't quite know. Did they float down to earth when I start dismantling the floors, maybe? So I can't go all the way because I'm... Oh, I've messed that up. Because there's one TV there remaining. But at least... I managed to get a big chunk of this out. They're all just floating, guys. I might have to click on them individually and get them teleported back to wherever they need to go. Uh, dismantle. Uh, demolish structures. Gone. And then we go down a floor again to the final floor. The final floor right now, guys. The final countdown. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Um, right, they're all done. It's just now removing the objects. So multi-select multi all these objects. Some customers have been managed to get out right now. Select all the windows, which is a huge pain. It's a good job we ain't got no windows on that little storeroom over here. Right, goodbye, Windows. It was nice to know you. And I bet you there's going to be at least one object that I didn't select correctly. I bet you there's going to be at least one object that I didn't select correctly. Nope, we're all Gucci, boys. We're all Gucci. So demolish structures. We can finally say hasta la vista, baby. To our original hotel. Yes, we got people floating. But they're slowly falling down. Goodbye. It's quite a sad emotional time, isn't it, to be honest with you. So I can't demolish any of this until I remove all the objects. Now, I can remove the objects fairly easily like this. Why can't I do that in the hotel with the stuff on the walls? This game makes no sense at times. But that is now officially all gone, guys. It's now officially all gone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's all done. People can now go home. And breathe easy. Those people that have been here a whole entire week. I mean, guys, don't don't be happy. At least I didn't charge you rent. So, you know, 
save some money there, didn't you? It's staying in your boy's world's greatest casino. Yeah, you might be stuck in a room with just a window and a, and a TV. But it was free TV, okay? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Right, with that said, with that done, I need to then sort this out. So I can't get rid of the flooring, unfortunately. It's just one of them things. It is what it is. So with the wall tool right now, and let me see if I can do this correct. We're going to um, right, push that across to there. To there. And what, I can't, I can't get it to, to go across there? You for real? Game? Oh, of course they can't because, what am I doing? The escalators don't even come up to here. Right, leave me alone, guys. <laughs> leave me alone, okay? I'll get there in the end. My brain's just been frazzled from the fact that what has just gone on in a hotel. So just, just leave me alone, okay? <laughs> leave, leave me alone. Right, that's done. And let's go back to the walls then. So that means I can change things up slightly. So wall tool. Wall comes over to here, which is going to go straight over to there. I will enclose the elevators right now. So we can't see them from the room inside. Do it just over here as well. There we go. Um, we'll bring this all the way down. And where I put the divide in the wall, I'm not 100% sure yet. But just know that we are going to do it. Um, bam. Oh, I messed that up to there. All right, we'll come back and sort that in just a second. Just build a wall around it. Dismantle that piece of wall just here. And then go all the way down to here. Now, it might trap some peeps in. Do apologize. Do apologize. Uh, but I will sort it out. Do not worry. Do not worry. So marbles then. The flooring. we got it all going around the edge. Looking swiggity swag. Uh, I need the granite. Which here is then a 10. So I'm going all the way up. By a 10 to create this kind of additional room. Then we're doing a 3. So after that space there, we go all the way down. By a 3. And that then, all the way up, becomes another 10. Ta. La. Di. Da. Right, that goes to there. All the way down. We got this, boys. We got this right now. Your boy is a pro casino builder. Ain't nothing gonna stop your boy. Well, we'll see. Something's eventually gonna stop me. What that might be, I do not know. I do not know. So, got this room in the middle set up, which is gonna have, um, well... Place more slot machines there, maybe. I don't know what to actually put in these kind of sections. But I know in this room here, it's going to be the high gambling limit. Yes. So, high gambling zoned limit. And it's going to contain a load of um, tables. Let me put this in so we can see the, uh, the limit just there. We are going to start with first demolishing some walls. Uh, where is the demolished wall? There we go. So, if I go here... Shabam! That was one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is purely even. So let's try again over here. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six? Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Wait. That's also off as well, isn't it? So it's actually going to be a 7 to make it even. It's actually going to be a 7. So doing that there. 7s by the 7s. Nice. So nice. So nice. So to where I put then the entrance points on the sides all depends on how I do the whole entire room system. That's what it all kind of comes down to. Now what I am going to do is I am going to clone... Right, this whole section just here. And then flip it round. Oh, wait, did it not clone the... Uh... 
the machines, the ca the ATM machines. Yeah, there we go. Now we've got the ATM machines in, boys. All right, that should be bang on, right? Perfect. <laughs> Which I could actually <clears throat> clone them again here and here. But I feel like I want to put some bars in here anyway. So I'll leave that to how it is right now. But additional gambling machines all in there. I, I don't know what to add at the very bottom here too. Where we're doing some more business rooms. I don't know if we kind of need them just yet. But gambling attractions... We'll start then with the tables. So let's start then first with the roulette tables. Bah. Uh, roulette tables. So if I do one there, one there on the entry. So as soon as you walk in from this side, you are greeted with a roulette table. And you must start instantly gambling. There we go. Bam. Bam. Um, we'll move on to the craps tables because they are also slightly large. Spin them round. So one, two. Three, four. This is all coming down to now where we create the central divide. Then we'll go with some poker tables. Mm, no, not poker tables there. We'll go with some blackjack tables. So if I go one there, one there. Then I go one there, one there. And then we work out the central section just here to dismantle it. I could actually go quite large, couldn't I? Like that. I don't quite know if that holds up. Yeah, I think that might be it. Okay, good, good, good. And what we're going to do is we're going to quickly clone all these. Spin Z it round. Bam. There we go. There we go. And... Okay, so we've got quite a lot of some of these. But it's what we need. It's what we need. So the Baccarat tables <clears throat> is what I'm going to go for next. So one there, one there. We'll do one there, one there. The Pei Gao. I never know how to pronounce some of these names. One there, one there. One there, one there. We haven't done the poker tables, but we got the free card poker we can place down next. Which we'll do. Hmm. What will be the best place for these? One there. One there. So it's kind of slightly off centered. But I don't mind that too much. One there, one there. So we just don't have the poker tables down just yet. And I might do poker tables going along these sides. Because lots of people might want to play a little bit of poker. Uh, right, so I need to do the cashier... Um, what are they called again, sorry? The cashier cages. Where would be the best place for these? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe first, if I place down a bar, I can kind of get an idea of where we could go with this. So I could do the big circle. Oh, the big circle would be so good in the middle. Bam. And then gambling. I could have actually have the cashier cages on the outside here. One there. One there. And then put right next to them the ATM machines. ATM. Two there. Two there. So I'm giving a little bit of space of a little bit of walkway. So people can get into it. 
there we go and we might as well also then sort that out i've got to do the uh the line going down there as we continue the high limit gambling and then in its place here we place down poker tables so do i centralize them do i do them sideways or oh, we have the elevator just there so we've got to be a little bit careful so what if i start all right if i start here one there one there and let me just kind of quickly clone it because i'm about to place this down so much quicker one there one there one there so clone all of them and we pretty much mimic it after the elevator so it doesn't really matter what side these kind of go on because they're flip facing no matter what you do so it spins these this round just after the elevator just there leave me alone siri she listens too much siri does she listens too much. She knows too much. <laughs> she knows how crooked your boy is as a casino owner. <laughs> right, they're all in there right now, the poker tables. Which really does make this whole area very, very interesting. It really does. So let me just finish off then with the... Is it the marble there? I think so. To kind of go down to here. Go up to there. And then I want to add in all the comfort stuff, like, you know, a couple of snack vending machines here and there, which might kind of get sorted within this little area. If I set up, like, tables and chairs or little sofas or lounge areas, which would be quite nice, these little benches would be pretty sweet. So let me do the floor. Marble. That beautiful marble floor. And we go come oh we need to restrooms actually do you know what this could be the bathroom this could be the bathroom so if i just go gender neutral because you know i like to be super duper inclusive place that all the way to there and we sort out the walls right now so have this go all the way across and Right, so we need the toilet stalls first. So we're going to go and try and place in as many of these as possible. All down that side. Get them going all the way down this side. That last one just there, it's been a pain. There we go. I then give it a two space and then we go all the way down this side. And then a two space there. Wonderful. Lots of toilets now in. We're going to place a wall in. So if I start the wall just here. Like that. And then. If. Yeah we'll start the wall like that. And then I'll come out by. Say six to there. six to there right, I've got ideas guys so I have these going all the way down here and then we go down here oh just about to squeeze that in go up here what's going on I thought then for a second then it won't give me let me place any more toilets in so do this then. So basically, the line of vision through the door, no one can be visually seen going into a toilet stall. That is pretty much how it works. We're going to enclose the walls off here to there to give maximum privacy uh, going in. Then on this wall here will be where all the sinks are. So cabinet with a sink. Do I want those ones or the double ones? Now we'll go with these. Going all the way down. So I'm not quite sure how much I'll be able to fill. So it leaves that one singular gap there. Which, what else are we missing? We are missing the... Okay, we haven't got a door on it. Hold on. Where are the doors? Oh, there's the doors. 
door just there. And is that all that's needed? Yeah. Easy. Easy. Okay, they got a they got a bathroom in there. Which means I can turn these little areas here, these little pockets into little kind of little lounge areas, maybe. So back to the old flooring. Because we, we we now have a design, don't we, guys? We, 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 it's safe to say we, we have a design going on right now. So squeeze all that into there and to there. And then we try and build a beautiful little lounge. Up to there and obviously the marble. Down to there. Good stuff. And let's see what we can kind of come up with then. So we want some... Let's start with the sofas first. I'm liking these little sofas. <clears throat> I really am. So if we do a three there, we do a one, two, and a three just there. We'll try and mimic it on this side as well. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we'll do it over here. One, oh, no, no, we can't do it there because of the elevators. We've got something just there anyway. We could do a... Oh, I could set up like a bar area again. The big circular one. Um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you see where I go with this? It's slightly off centered. It's not perfect. I don't feel like I need to throw a bar in. Um, here at the minute. So we'll, we'll kind of leave it for now. We'll kind of leave it now. We got some like decoration stuff we can also throw down. I can get in. Uh, I just want to try to do like needs first. So a little snack vendor machine. I think these will be good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, the soda vendor machine. One, two, three. One, two, three. ATM. One, two. Oh, I messed that up. One, two, three. And a, a trash can. There and there. So let me just move this one back. Can you charge people to use it? Oh, no. No, no, no. You can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. Can you do it to these, though? Oh, snap. Yeah, you can. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So, a few little chairs there. Let me see what kind of decoration we can put. Any, like, big, like, huge statues? Um, ooh, there's, like, a big water fountain just here. Everyone's sitting around the water fountain. I'm going to place that there. Because we are in the high limit gambling area where things get a little bit more fancier. Chandelier. Nah. Apparently you gotta be two levels high. Christmas trees? Is it Christmas, guys? Is it Christmas now? Um Ooh, the little signs. I can do the general well, I say gender neutral. It's not really a gender neutral sign, it still says male or female, but you, you get the gist of it. It's for all genders. Even though it's only two gender signs. <laughs> uh, I actually don't know what a gender neutral sign is. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure on that one. So, yeah. I mean, they should just have a sign that says toilet. Or bathroom. Right? That is kind of like, you know, makes it so much more simpler. So, have these big cats on the entry point of both sides. That's how you know you're walking into the lion's den. I know the cats, but... It's when the big money takes over. It's when the real big money takes over. So with all that in then, it's all basic stuff. Without me going too super duper fancy, it kind of covers a bunch of the basic needs. It gets in what I need it to get in. No ifs, no buts, no specially made chocolatey cream filled donuts. But we can now click on stuff. And we can also now have maximum bets. So can I select multiple let me see if i can would this work in this kind of form so select multiple objects um paste clipboard to schedule all move empty cache now toggle cursor area near nee. i can manage the game Ooh. minimum two players so i can come in with maximum bets of a thousand Damn. Too many zeros. Too many zeros. Like that. 
and I can apply it to every single one on this side. I don't know if there's a quicker way for me to do this. Maybe I should have placed down one uh, poker table and then cloned that one all the way over. But you know what's hilarious? They still haven't got everything needed right now for all the stuff here on this floor. The workers, they're slacking, boys. They're slacking right now. So, a thousand is this. Max prize, a thousand. Are you sure that? No, minimum bet, sorry, is a thousand. Which changes the confidence levels from 10% to 2%. If anyone starts using that, they're going to be big money makers. They are going to be big money makers. I haven't changed any of the other tables just yet. I want to use these as a little test run to see what we kind of get out of them, who uses them and all that kind of jazz. It will be kind of interesting. It will be very, very interesting right now. So what is the current time right now? And why? Wait, hold on. Hold on. We have not many customers in. The casino. Why is that? Um, we are open, right? I feel like something's gone wrong. Um, um, <laughs> you know, you just don't know what you're doing anymore. I feel like that's happened. Yeah, the casino's open. It can't... Wait, is it because of the time of day? 8 a.m.? I feel like it's a little bit more busy at this time. Oh, I don't even know anymore. Let me fast forward. Are we going to start getting... Okay, there's lots of taxis coming in. Okay, buses are dropping off loads of peeps. Okay, now the peeps are coming in. All right, good stuff. So, is anyone using our higher limit gambling table for Gibba Jigga Bobby Bobby Booters yet? Um, not really just yet. I don't know if anyone's got the confidence to take these on. At a 2% confidence level. But if anybody does use them, we're going to make some big boy money. That's what we're going to be making. The big boy money. The big boy money. <laughs> uh, right. Let them do what I've got to do then. So let things just tick along then. I think it was just the time of day that it just felt like there was nobody in here. I think it literally was just the time of day. So with things rocking and rolling then, hopefully we can still keep turning the profits, the monies, the cash, the buddy, the boola. Um, all good. I don't think there's anything to worry about just yet, but we'll just keep seeing how things go. So we've made some progress in our high limit gambling area. At the minute, it's only the slot machines on both sides and these um, poker tables that really have the higher limit set. I haven't really done it to any of these. Like, I could do 250. Uh, gambling confidence, 500%. Hold on, if I set it to a thousand. Oh wait, it's not a two percent, it's a two thousand percent. Oh, I misread that. Holy smokes, two thousand percent confident levels? That you could win? Get out of here, boy. I'll leave that one to that kind of higher limit. But then again, they've got to come in the casino with uh, that kind of money. That's a chef. They have 3300 on their bank account, $800 in cash. So they could get the money out. They could low-key get the money out. Right, anyway, let me take a look again at this area up here. So I should be able then to have the ability to clone this whole area. Obviously, not all the way up to that room because that's a specialized different type of room. But bam, in you go. Then go all the way up to to well really here to get this side in bam i then need to clone 
that whole room here, because again, it's its own special type of room. And, hmm, oh, that's not going to work. Cancel. I'll have to manually place that one in. I'm going to have to manually place that one in. But from then, this point going all the way up to, to there. Oh, wait, snap. I can't even get it all the way in over that side because, again, I then don't have all the foundations in place. So that would go here, which the mess, it then messes up the bathrooms. So rather than clone it from here, I clone it from there. Is that right? Yeah, which that would then go here. Which I never. I should really be cloning them by the two, shouldn't I? That would go there. And there's nothing up to here until we get to this point. But I need to place in more foundations. So it's not the end of the world. Nothing to worry about just yet. But we've got in now a few additional. Uh, standard rooms a few additional standard rooms so if I then oh no that's the wrong button uh, where is it foundation set this all the way up ba bam ba bam ba 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 bam wall tool foundation dismantle walls all the way across I then should be able to claim it. So, again, just do, go by the old 2x2 two two method. The old standard 2x2. Two two. As we go. All the way up. Now, I know just there we're going to be have to be creating a stairwell. So, we just, you know, calm it down. Calm it down. Now, this is going to be the opposite 2x2. Two because the bathrooms are placed opposite right now. But we're so far we can take this. With all these beautiful standard rooms. To the room there. Which I can place down. But it's going to have to be customly done. So there's two rooms that I'm currently missing. Which is not a big issue. Now I wonder. If by placing down the blue carpet that we do have. Oh look at that. That was amazing. I managed to fill that whole room up. Uh, tiles. Oh, it's so good because you can kind of then preview what it's going to look like. I feel like that's good for a gym. So could that. So could that. It's a bit brighter. No. Oh, I'll go for that one. A little bit brighter on the old floor and for the gym. Nice. So I'm spending money like you wouldn't believe right now. Now it's all about trying to make some money. Because at the minute... I've only got a million in the bank. At one point, I had nearly three million. Now, to only have a million? Shows you that I've been spending money like crazy. So, guys, can you do some gambling, please? <laughs> can you lose all your money for me, please? Appreciate it. But easy money that we won't lose is obviously the accommodation. And now that we've also added in these new standard rooms, which we charge top dollar for these will be a big help for us uh, it's currently 1 p.m so let's have a little fast forward now then money that's in the vault ready to be cashed in we're at 1 million and 77 thousand so we'll see how that increases and decreases as the day goes on as we keep paying our staff wages and all that kind of stuff but even if we kind of keep this to the same it's the money that we cash in on the vault for the next day is where the big money comes in that's where the big boy money comes in. But we have all our staff members doing what they got to do. We're getting money from the buffet, which again is another way that we can make sweet, sweet cash. Well, we have an issue here. One or more garbage zones is full. Ooh. Okay. Right. Garbage zone. Where is it? Where the garbage zone at? Uh, there it is. So let me kind of view the zone. Oh yeah, it is kind of low-key full. So we're going to make this a little bit bigger. Uh, should they be, they be able to fill it up? Uh, place inside a garbage zone to expand it. Right, get more of these in. 
Right, that will aid the garbage zone right now. All good. So 1,095,000. So we've gone up 20 grand. 25 grand right now, which is good. We've got half a million in the vault right now to cash in for the next day. So that just shows you how things are rocking and rolling, how they're now legit going. Um, anybody on the high limit gambling tables or the high roulette table? Not really just yet. But I suppose we have to give now the casino time for everyone's confidence to be all sorted out. That's pretty much what we got to do. Or maybe it's a case that $1,000 might be a bit too high. Maybe up it's like $100. That's more reasonable for those guys right now. Could be. It could be. But um, yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby. We've got 700000 awaiting for the next day in the vault. So once that has now cashed out or finished, we're going to have close to 2 million. So we made like a million in a day. Almost. Put that into perspective. Almost one million in a day. Now, that is not all clear profit. But that's high. So the money's now been cashed out. Now, this day is going to look really weird in terms of money. Well, I say today. Uh, this is today. Right? But if I go and view the previous day. Uh, income, 1.6 million. Net profit minus seven hundred thousand, and that's because I spent one point seven million on construction. Now, if I didn't spend one point seven million on construction, I'll be up one million net profit. And I always said, guys, I'm trying to get the casino to make a million dollars a day. I reckon we could. I reckon that's going to be a thing. I really, really do. A million smack a Roonies. Now. Again, another easy way to make that sweet, sweet cash is to keep adding in hotel rooms. And i got to do two more up here. Next episode, we'll, we'll focus on building the suites where those are going to have everything in and we can charge top, top dollar for those right now. And Oh, we got some rooms here too. I kind of forgot about those rooms there. Kind of low-key forgot about those. But yeah, that's when we can charge the big boy money, which is going to be really, really good for us. And so, all right, and let me let me check. Let me check right now how much money I made on the previous day from accommodation. 141,000. Yikes. Y -y -y Yikes. I mean, staff expenses is now really high, nearly a quarter of a million. That is slowly starting to get pretty high, but we're making money. At the end of the day. We're making money. The big amount of money is coming from the slot machines. And I think it's all changed ever since we had it in the, the high limit gambling slot machines up here. Not that many people use them as much as the lower ones, but you know, you don't I don't need to have that many people using them. Because the money that they make, the money that they can cash out on, is ridiculous. It really is. It really freaking is. But guys, we are going to end it for here today. So many improvements we've done. So many fixes we've done. We got rid of the trap people. We got in more of the um, standard rooms. We got to add in a few more economy rooms. We learned about the ability to now um, fill a room with flooring. Wow. All the high level gambling stuff right now, which we're going to see how it goes. If it turns out no one's really using them. Then I'll lower the limits because I think a thousand is a little bit too high, even for the area that the casino is currently in right now. Could be a little bit too high. We've got plans for days to get all set up. And I really, truly believe that we're going to make a million dollars in a single day in our casino. We could do it this day as long as I don't do anything because at the minute and this day, we're 384,000 in net profit. I've got nearly 300, we've got 300,000 there, so that's 4, 5, 6, 7, that's 700,000 if I cash that and end of the day right now, but the day is not over. I still got so much more money to collect from accommodation. The night time hasn't even come when we have the big bulk of people here gambling. Look at that, 5, five 6, 7, 8, almost 900,000 in net profit. 
it all comes down to what happens uh, when the day has ended. We've paid our taxes and all our staff and all that kind of jazz to see what we really come up with at that point. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting, boy. So... If you have enjoyed this episode and want to see more of Sim Casino, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. But if you're new right here, make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. <laughs>